wherever you go, wherever you talk, where you, wherever you make efforts, please tell those who listen to you that we are presenting to you a scientific discovery about the mind and the brain and are offering to abide by the decision of those who are engaged on this investigation. If you are convinced that this is the right way, if you are convinced that this is the basic teaching of all religions and even the basic teaching of science, because science believes in evolution, then follow us, then help us. We are not telling you something which is not proved, which just comes out of our own fancy, but we are placing a scientific discovery, a scientific knowledge before you, which combines spirituality and empirical science in one movement which is for the greatest good of human beings. That is all I have to say today, now, so we can start with that. Panda, how do you feel about birth control for someone on a spiritual path? In the present condition of world population, there seems to be no harm if healthy and safe methods are used for birth control provided the maternal instinct of the partner should also find satisfaction and it um do all the luminaries have the power to heal? If so, why don't they use it? Whatever power the illuminated have comes from heaven. And they can do what is ordained for them to do. Pandit, what is, what is the relationship between karma and disease. If I have time, I will dilate on karma. But to this particular question, I can say that rigid laws, which are unfathomable yet, rule the life of man both in health and disease. Panin, you speak of the third and the fourth dimension. Is there a dimension beyond the fourth dimension? Progress in the expansion of consciousness can be infinite. There is no end two dimensions that may be unfolded in the ages to come. Remember, man has to stay on the earth for millions of years, and unless he has new worlds to explore, new heights to reach, he will stagnate and degenerate. Hence, heaven has already provided for him an infinite ocean of consciousness which he can explore as he grows in wisdom and knowledge. There are other dimensions beyond the third and the fourth. In the past, many illuminaries consumed meat, mutton, beef, pork, and so on. 
why is it then that in one of the countries with the greatest spiritual history many of the local people and people in other parts of the country do not consume these types of food it is their choice <laughs> Our last day in Nishad was so beautiful and so filled with happiness and closeness. We wept that day as the pundit spoke hopefully of the future and our ability to avert global disaster if we would practice the law of love. We said goodbye to this dear and loving friend who encouraged us to live a life that would promote unity, love and peace in the world. You are presence and your radiation, full of love, full of an eagerness to learn more about this knowledge, has inspired me to reveal some of the deepest secrets of Kundalini. I know I speak on behalf of everybody here, and the knowledge that you have shared with us this week, we have taken to heart. And you can be assured for the rest of our natural lives that we shall do everything possible to carry out this message. We thank you again. Thank you. In conclusion, let me thank each one of you from the core of my heart. It is perhaps difficult for you to imagine what I feel. I am overwhelmed by all your affection and love, by the love and affection of your leaders by the love and affection of every member of the group. And I am sure we will part as very close friends bound by a spiritual bond which may persist through all the vicissitudes of time and leave a mark on history of a movement that sacrificed everything and made every possible effort to avert a disaster and to guide humanity on the right path. With these words and again expressing my heartfelt gratitude to all of you, I end the discourse. lifelong companion who has supported him so faithfully all these years, Mrs. Gopi Krishna.